Hey guys, so I had another question and it's about what are we going to do once we awaken? A couple questions on this because they're suffering with I'm awakening and I know this is not ethical, moral, or and I'm in alignment with anymore because they're awakening. And so what do they do? They still have to be here in the experience um, and working and making money and participating in these things. And for this, you, it, it can be a little bit of a struggle because been in that situation um, and it, you make the most of it. And so what you do is you find um, the good in it Right? And you focus on that until you're able to build the bridge to, into something else. You don't want to just up and uproot yourself and <laughs> go bankrupt or um, in debt or anything like that, of course. You know, um, when you're having, going into this experience, you know, what we have now is a framework of what has been implemented in the past up until this point. And a lot of us who are awakened aren't going to want to participate in that. You know, we're... Um, coming more into our authentic self, wanting more, you know, for our lives than what is our, being, being created from the past, which is also why a lot of us are awakening um, because, and it, because it no longer aligns us. We're creating more uh, opportunities for more ethical and more in alignment, you know, um, careers or um, going out on our own, starting our own businesses, or, you know, we're leaving things that aren't no longer ethical. So like the manufacturing who keeps making plastic and then those dumping chemicals into the water, those using chemicals, you know, we're creating these other ways. It's creating the bridge to somewhere else, which is why a lot of us are coming in new on a higher level of consciousness that not to participate in it, but also for us to awaken and to see for those who are already here awakening, that we no longer align with that and we're not, we're not going to stand for it and we're not going to put up with it and so we're going to change it. And so that's part of the awakening is to make change from the old way to the new way and that's how it happens, it evolves, right? And so this is a transition period, uh, you know, going forward. And so as you're awakening up and if you're really if coming into a place where you're like, oh my God, this job, you know, I'm, I'm seeing, observing all this stuff, like we're creating harm in the world, we're putting stuff in the food and harming people or we're creating this and, you know, making this and we're hurting the environment. You know, these are waking ups and that we need to change and work on. And so although it's not recommended to just, you know, like I said, leave and put yourself in a, a situation where you're going to be worse off, start where you are and start making the bridge to something else right and so what has been was just what we thought at the time not that it's good or bad but it's where we were it's our conscious at that time and so as we're evolving out of it because it, we need to wake up because if we keep going in that direction which is part of why we're having this awakening um for people to sit and realize like what am i doing what am i participating in what am i creating you know like, hey, knock, knock, you know, the universe and source is calling, um, time to wake up, you know, because a lot of us, we just go and do a job because we need the money and it doesn't matter what we're doing, we just do it, right? And so people are like slaughtering animals like cruelly or they're putting toxins in our food and just because they need a buck, you know, there's other ways to do it. We don't need to do it like that, right? And so we have to change the way, right? And so in order for us to move forward into more of a um, ethical, moral, and a sustainable way, right? And so a lot of us are awakening, right? So we can see this and do this. And so as we're doing it, you know, it's not chop wood and carry water. We don't just continue to do it. We make change, right? And I always say that it's not, no, we don't just, uh, you know, chop wood, carry water. Once we awaken, we start making change. We build the bridge into something else, create new jobs, create new school systems, Start teaching your kids how to um, deal with their emotions. Start teaching people, you know, or others that we have psychic abilities, our intuitive, tune in to meditate, you know, start teaching all these things, incorporate these things, healthy eating behaviors, you know, things like that so we can change the direction that we're going in. And that's part of the awakening, right? And so a lot of this is coming up in turmoil and people are waking from it for this reason. And so they can become aware of themselves. What are they doing? 
what am I doing that is not, um, you know, creating a better way of life, you know, for our future, right? It's our existence that is at the forefront here. If, if you're not aware of that, <laughs> you know, on so many different levels, because here we are back at war and, you know, doing all these things, which at this point in time, we should be well aware of, <laughs> you know, um, 2024, and here we are in war. Not trying to be judgmental, but I mean, we really kind of need to wake up, you know, and look at these things. Why am I creating this? Why should we have to even do this at this point in time in life that we haven't moved through that in evolution yet and worked it all out and understand that we need to get along and be peaceful and happy and love and accept each other for who we are in this existence, right? And so love another, and that's the only one commandment, right? And I'm not going down that religious path because I'm not religious, but that is the only thing that really exists on the other side is love. And from all love, all else comes, right? And so if you can be in that space, you don't have to worry about being nice or kind to another person because you're in the space of love. It already just happens. Abundance comes from love. Abundance, because it's a high vibration and you're already in alignment if you can be in love, right? And so from where you are awakening and you're seeing that your job, your career, whatever you're doing or participating in isn't good for you, isn't good for others, isn't good for the universe or the environment, you know, we want to change it, right? How can we change it? What are your talents? What are your skills? What are your abilities? You know, look within, ask source, you know, what is, what is my true path here, right? What is it? And sit in meditation and find out, do some journaling, go out into nature, get away from, take a vacation, you know, get away from the chaos and go sit in quiet time so you can receive and then follow the guidance, right? And that's when that happens is when you can shut the world out, sit for a few minutes, even every day to just tune into yourself and see what your divine guidance is telling you or showing you um, instead of going on the mind because we're just running on backup plan, right? And so the thing was, you know, having to get up in the morning, do this, do this, do this, do this, and we don't have any time to actually contemplate. And that's important, you know, to take that time out to contemplate and find yourself, work on yourself, and find your right direction, right? And so that is important, right? And so being busy, turning on the TV, when we have time, we can turn the TV off and make that time. There's always time to contemplate and be in silence, right? And then we just have to get rid of some of the things in our lives that don't really matter <laughs> that much, right? And so what matters, it, there's a lot more beyond this screen of play of getting up, going to school, going to work, coming home, cook dinner, sit in front of the TV and go to bed, and then do it again the next day and do nothing else other than that, but repeating it from day to day, that's a cycle. Um, so as we're continuing to repeat in it and being unconscious, right, we're just kind of feeding it, right? And so we just keep it going, perpetuating it. And so when we're waking up and we're becoming more conscious, we're aware of it and we're able to start changing it, right? And moving into a different direction, which is, again, where we're going and the reason for all this happening, right? Um, so with that being said, you know, look at what you're participating in. And if everybody does it, you know, we're going to start making bigger changes, you know, um, from where we are. It's not about pointing fingers to other people. It's about pointing fingers at what we're doing, right? And if everybody does their own part, then it changes on a bigger scale, right? And so what are you doing? Create ethical jobs, create new businesses, um, do, do more things, you know, about trying to get them to change, you know, environmental things, you know, there's a lot of things that are here that we can change and be a part of, you know, and make better, you know, it's just doing it, right? And uh, making that change uh, that from the framework, right? So do some self-discovery, meditating, take time out, and move from that place to get out of, you know, where you are. And just to give you an example, like one of the reasons I left, um, and it's not because I didn't want to help them. I enjoy, I enjoy helping people, and that's my thing. And so whenever I took a job that was helping people, there was parts of it that didn't help people. And so I felt like I was wasting my time there. And so anything that I'm wasting my time and isn't working out, I stop doing it, right? And so <laughs> I, I've been, I worked for WIC, right? And although it was helping people, 
nutritionally to help them, you know, learn about nutrition, they were teaching things and um, doing things that weren't ethical and moral because, um, for one, uh, they would promote formula. And people will tend to go to that instead of breastfeeding because it's readily available, right? And it's easier, you know? So people would choose that over breastfeeding. And, you know, I'm guilty of it because when I had my kids, I was told I wouldn't be able to breastfeed. So I listened to them, which was dumb because I learned later on that um, it doesn't matter my size, you know, I can still breastfeed, <laughs> you know. Um, and so I was told wrong information by a doctor, right? That's why I don't listen to doctors anymore because they don't know what they're talking about for the most part. Um, and then they are always um, negative. And that can mess with a person's mind, you know. It can make them give up on, you know, what they're trying to do. And if they're saying, oh, well, you're never going to walk again, they're going to believe in, in that what they're saying because they're a doctor. They're making them their god. When you take source out of the picture and you replace a doctor with source, you're making that person your God, right? And so then you believe and take on that truth, that what they're saying or that belief as your truth. And so you make it real. And so you are going to probably either not heal or you're not going to get to where you're able to walk again, right? And so it's something that you're taking into yourself in place of a God. It's a backup plan, right? And so if you're not strong with, with source, and I don't want to say God because that is, that's a whole different topic, but source, right? Because there's only one source. And when we get into God, there's so many different gods, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, not to get off track. Um, I, I had taken somebody's word as because I was young and I didn't know any better. And so I was like, okay, I'm not going to be able to breastfeed because that's what they said. And so I took that for the word, right? And so obviously, you know, that I was part of that, you know, and so I learned from that experience, right? And so when I was working for WIC, you know, they put um, formula out there. Now, um, with formula, if you haven't looked at the ingredients, it causes digestive issues. Um, luckily, when my kids were younger, you know, the formula was not so bad as it is now, um, but also cow milk is hard for a child to digest. And the thing I found out in WIC was a lot of Kids were having stomach issues, diarrhea, diarrhea and di you know digestive issues, and so what they were um, were GERD and regurgitation things like that. And so what they were doing then to to fix that was just giving them medication. The medication was fixing this and then this and this and this, and it was like this whole spiral downfall just because they were giving them um, formula and then to give them iron, and then most of their Irons were depleted because of the medications and this and this. And it was just a big mess, a chaos mess. And I was like, you know, I really don't want to be part of this, <laughs> you know. And so it was my my code, my ethical, moral code that um, started coming in. And it was kind of like, yeah, this doesn't resonate with me anymore. I don't want to be a part of it. And although some of it was good, um, some of it wasn't. And I wasn't about to. And then they wanted you to do other things, which I wasn't willing to do. Um because that's what I had ingrained in me, right? And so I'm not going to sacrifice myself to do something that's not going to be good for another person. Um, so I, I've left a couple of jobs because of that, you know, in the counseling. Um, it wasn't effective how they had it set up. And, um, you know, it's just a lot of different things like that. So I've left a couple of jobs, you know, where I'm helping people. I have a um, nutrition degree and a master's in counseling degree. So kind of figured I'd go off on my own and do my own thing. And that's what I'm talking about, right? right? So if your careers aren't, you know, um, fulfilling you or you're waking up and you're like, eh, this isn't, you know, aligning with who I am as a person, then it's it's time to leave. But do it in a, in a process where it's not going to, harm you in the way of just up, up and quitting, right? Find your bridge. And um, so basically, you know, it's it's just finding, you know, the way from here to there and then just do a transition and shift, you know. Um, are you great at painting or creating or manifesting, whatever it is, teaching, coaching, so many things that we can do to uh, shift out of that and create your own world is like what I'm doing. 
right? I, I write books. I do more creative stuff. I am. I have the the um, the knowledge from that and the experience that I can bring to the table and add to the channeling of what I'm receiving in my own experience through life. So I have a lot of um, base knowledge, but I also have the intuitive knowledge and the channeling information that I bring to it as well. Right. And so as we're shifting out of, you know, what no longer serves us to be a part of in the society as it's been, you know, constructed um, to bring this world to where we are now, we can change it, you know, and make it so much better. Right. And so this little channel thing dropped in. It says most of us do who wake up out of the dogma of everyday life. So it no longer makes us sense, feel or interested in life to be a part of it and participating in the ho hum of stigma and the anticipated agony that we pretend to be a part of as a whole, which doesn't really exist. And so um, when, as we're pretending to be a part of it, um, when we are not any longer, which is the gateway, and so it is no longer makes sense to work our lives away at stuff that feeds the society controlling systems when it doesn't exist. And I did a video on that, like nothing beyond this realm exists as it exists here. This is all just a play, right? And so why participate in it, right? Um, it's the games of life, right? And so, but we do have to live here because we are here. And so we do have to make money to exist here because it is the way that it's been created and it is the evolution of time from where it was. And so until we create something else, it isn't going to get anywhere fast in time. And so it is what it is until we get out of the structured framework which is part of the awakening. And so building a bridge and to do what we do with what we got, which is our true purpose, right? Find who we truly are, right? Um, and do our best to move through it as we're moving forward through this mess. <laughs> um, and so try to find something else you like and that doesn't add to the corruption of the world and feeds it and change it. Do you have any gifts, talents that you can do to earn a living? That is supporting a new world and a new way of being, creating ethical jobs con contrib contribution instead of destroying and deteriorating it and harming others along the way. And that is what perpetuates it by continuing to participate in it, even though you're aware of it and you may not want to be a part of it. Right. And so that is the way that it contributes uh, to contribute in a positive way for the future as we're making that headway um, that we can make money from and live from in a positive way and contribute to a positive way in the future, which is the new world. Happy journeys.